Hey YouTube, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and today's app review is going to be the official Google app, Google search app uh, for Windows 8. And uh, for starters, this is the main page or the main screen uh, that you will see, the very first screen you'll see when you launch the application. Uh, for starters, uh, the one thing you can notice that looks really familiar to it, if it's familiar for somebody that is a mobile user, is this has a high resemblance to the mobile web page, like when you're logging into a smartphone for Google. Uh, you can see these three things at the bottom right here. It has a super high resemblance, but there's a, there's a, a whole bunch of little things that are different. For starters, when you click history over here, it actually takes to a separate history page screen. It doesn't, uh, you know, have the little sliding bar here, the sliding, the, the sliding sidebar, as I would call it. Uh, when you hit applications, it tells you all the Google applications and everything. So when you scroll over, you can see, you know, all the all the little services Google offers: YouTube, Reader, Google Drive, Calendar, Gmail, and so on. And when you hit when you hit the back button, obviously it takes the previous page you were viewing, or you can just hit the Google button and it'll take you to the main page. Uh, when you click this right here, it takes you to a little thing that it just, it's like options. Uh, you can also access this by swiping in from the bottom. So if, I, if I'm to click this page and I swipe in from the bottom, then it'll take me to the related recent searches and full search history page obviously I'm not logged in to even view that but it would show you everything you searched for using this application and then you hit the home button to go back home you can also right click to get to that same thing uh, I'm not sure why it's not working at all swipe in from the bottom and it works and then there's tutorial which takes you through the tutorial that you'll get when you first launch the application I can click it right now see it tells you how to use the application you pull pull down the blue circle to the left to get started so I'm gonna grab the blue circle to the left to swipe and then it says Google search is easy simply tap the search box and begin typing results will instantly appear so you hit show me and they show you a hand and you can see what it is they just type in some random search results and it just happens and then swipe from the top to get more options or right click the mouse button to get the same options you can start a new search anytime by tapping the search box at the top of the screen. So you can swipe in from the top and you can get your options. And then or if we were to click this again, you can right click and get the same options. I'm not sure why the right click isn't working, but yeah, you can right click to get the same options. When you click in again, then you can do it again. Uh, search anytime, access the search in the charms menu with a swipe from the right at any time. So the charms menu you swipe in from the right to get charms, you hit search, and then you make sure you go down to select Google, Google search is there, and then it searches for Google for whatever you're looking for. So if you want to search for the book, The Grapes of Wrath, because I just saw that on Jeopardy, you can search for The Grapes of Wrath. And then The Grapes of Wrath just shows up right there, or you can just click anywhere in and to get to the page itself. You can hit the back button to go back to that tutorial page or you can just right click and hit the Google button to go back to the main page. All these things uh, happen pretty seamlessly. It's pretty fluid. And the voice search is another thing they have. So this is the voice search. The Grapes of Wrath. And you can see it did the Grapes of Wrath easier. and when you search for stuff using the voice search it actually speaks out to you so it's similar to those people who are Android users and they have Google Now uh, it tells you it speaks to you uh, your results so it's almost like Google Now integration into the Google page only it doesn't do the same functions it just has the voice capabilities of Google Now uh, these a lot of these things just work pretty well uh, the voice search is really really crisp uh, it's not like it doesn't sound robotic at all and lastly, the applications right here. Uh, these applications are actually all web apps. Uh, these are all, you know, little services Google provides, as I said before. Gmail would go to the Gmail web page. News would go to the Google News web page. Photos, Photos web page. 
and so on and so forth like Google Voice it will go to the Google Voice web page doodle same thing it's not a separate application I'm pretty sure sooner or later they will have some kind of separate application support but for now um, these are all just the web apps you just click them and it goes to them so for instance if I'm to click photos right here it loads the photos page and then you sign in to get to your Google Plus photos uh, you click the YouTube it loads youtube.com and it it's exactly how it is. It's, it's a web app. Part of this page is not supported. Obviously, this is a Google search, so they don't have a lot of the capabilities of Internet Explorer and Google Chrome and all those uh, good web browsers that we all use. But aside from all of that, this has been the Google search app, the official Google search app for Windows 8. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to have another app, you have another application that you want me to review, uh, let me know in the comments below. and. I'll be sure to get onto it as soon as possible. This has been Quaku from Next Gen Windows, and I'll catch you later. Peace.